evening, everybody. This is the 2022 annual meeting of the Jamestown Tarp Skunks. We had a very, very successful year last year. Uh, if you don't have your blue card, be sure you get one because on the back gives you some highlights of what happened with last year's team. Western Division champs, we had three All-Stars, we doubled our attendance because of the play on the field, and the merchandise was off the wall simply because you're wearing something called Tarp Skunks. Tarp Skunks, which I'm sure may be something you might want to ask your answer when you get there saying, you explain to your families that you were going to play with the Jamestown Tarp Skunks, their reaction, like, what? Or you gotta be kidding me. So uh, this is a organization which is owned by the Jamestown area. Some of them are here today, uh, who are here, joined us, who became investors with the Jamestown Tarp Skunks, and we thank you. I, I can see many here that I'm looking at. Um, and they created the entity upon which we were able to have baseball. They in turn created the entity which in turn led to a name Jamestown Tarp Skunks. And at the same time to have all the staff and the volunteers and fans. You're going to see, by the way, and behind you at the third base dugout, uh, Dennis Finnery. Dennis, you're going to stand up for just a second, wave, because you'll see him a lot. A lot. And they are dubbed the Pew Crew. And they got a section. And I got to tell you, if for those who are fans that are in the back there and you want to do something a little bit different some night, just go sit nearby them. Just kind of sit nearby them. Uh, it's an experience. You, uh, maybe Jordan will recite a story that he said last year about the Pew crew. Uh, but that's part of a number of community organized groups to support the team. And so we couldn't be happier that you come from all over the United States to play here in Jamestown and uh, we know that this community will come and support you and you'll see a very active uh, crowd like we did last year. So with that backdrop, um, I'm going to call Bruce Dudgeon. Bruce uh, is on our board, he's an investor and Bruce sort of takes care of the business side of this. Uh, so when it's either Bruce or Jacob Kinberg, who you've all met, uh, those are the guys that uh, make it happen behind the scenes. So Bruce. Thank you, Greg, and thanks everybody for, for coming today. Uh, I'm just going to keep this pretty short because really this is all, this is Jordan's day and the Terp Skunk's day. And so, um, just a, just a little bit about the business that, that Greg hasn't uh, talked about. This is our, our second season of playing ball as the Tarp Skunks. Uh, we were, for two years before that, we were we didn't have a, a team in town. We didn't have a team four years ago, and then three years ago we got shut down due to COVID, as many people, many organizations and activities did. And then last year we had a, had a great season, and we're looking forward to a, a great season again this year. Um, Jacob, Jacob couldn't be here today. Jacob handles our uh, our business and sales, and um, has done a, done a great job. My, my my segue into the the two years of going dark last year, uh, we had uh, pretty good support from the not pretty good good support from the community as far as sponsorships and signs and fans, and we're look, looking forward to uh, doing even even better uh, at that this year. Um, no, just a note about the, the board of directors. Greg talked about the investors that uh, the investors that own the team, and there's a board of directors. And I just got to say, I've been on a few boards, but this is this is one of the greatest boards I I, I know about. Uh, there's six or seven of us, and uh, it's it's everybody just pitches in to, to work and do what needs to be done. Uh, that's really. That's, that's all I'm gonna, gonna say. Unless you have some more, me to say some other other details about things. I, I you did a fantastic job. Let's hear it for Bruce Dudgeon. Oh. So, is your coach Jordan? Hey, oh, we're gonna we're gonna preempt it because okay. guess what? 
guess what just arrived? Uh, and because I know you'll pay no attention to what Jordan says when you know that food is there. Food is there. So uh, what I'm going to do, if you don't mind, Jordan, we're going to pause, feed, feed the beasts, and then uh, we'll pick that up when they're really not looking at that, looking at you rather than looking at that. Is that okay? And uh, for those who uh, just arrived, a couple of people that are important that you play with and for. Uh, I just want to point them out. That's the medium. Now, we're, you guys are all here for a lot of reasons, but one of them is to let you know what's going on here, back with the family members, to let them know what's going on with your coaches, so on. And part of that is the dissemination of media. The guy in the blue is walking out the door. Is that Tom Massini? He's our videographer. And he'll be broadcasting you via YouTube on videography. Right in the center is Jason Sample. Jason Sample, waving his hand right there, is from WRFA. They will be doing the radio broadcasting live. So WRFA, and that audio will be picked up by the video, which will then be broadcast over YouTube. And so I know he'll be and as interns will be contacting players, so please be responsive to just talk a little bit about what's going on in the season, what way have happened in the past game, what you look forward to in this game. Right here standing, uh, masked, is Dennis Webster. Dennis Webster is the WJTN announcer and has been doing it for as long as Olean has been playing Jamestown since 1939. And Dennis, uh, there's no, no better uh, exponent of things that are go on at Russell E. Dietrich Jr. Park on a morning by morning basis than, than Dennis. So again, you may see him around. This is his microphone right here. Uh, and so he's, he's, he's quite the guy. From the Post Journal, we have, as you saw in front of you and you've been reading, is an insert uh, which the Post Journal put out, which is our program for 2022. And there are a number of articles. Uh, uh, many by Jim Riggs, who was the sports editor for many, many years, uh, passed away a few years ago, and now the sports editor is Scott Kinberg. Scott, if you'd stand so they know when you're out there taking photographs, but he didn't have his camera today. I'll get to him. I'll get to him. I got the, I got the phone here. Come on. So that's, that's Scott Kinberg and Matt Spielman. Who did bring his camera today? Thank you, Matt. And he always gonna, he's the guy that took the picture uh, that you don't have to be put it above the fold tomorrow. It doesn't have to be, but if it is, so be it. So those are the post journal guys who you will see. There is actually, uh, you'll look at the, when you're batting and you walk up to your song. By the way, do all of you have songs? Do they have songs? Okay. Well, when you're up walking and you look up, and in case they play the wrong song, uh, and you see Scott or Matt looking out the window, that's who they are. They have nothing to do with the song, but that's who, whose face you're, 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 you're likely to see. It's this guy right here. So also, why don't you guys introduce yourself as well. Uh, this is the staff, and tell us what you do. Just stand up and uh, uh, take it from there. I'm Matthew Stiso, and I'm your team DJ this summer. Okay. I'm Jeremy Becker. I'm the public address announcer. Okay, so when he blows your name or this, it's Jeremy. Who's behind you there? Jackson? I'm Jackson Fowler. I'm the operations manager. Uh, so uh, we do tickets and game day operations. Yes, and when you get in trouble, see Jackson. <laughs> I'm Matt Rhodes, and I'm the press box coordinator. So again, back to the music. So he's, he's coordinating your music. If it's wrong, it is wrong. <laughs> Anybody else? There? Oh, who's our uh, radio announcer? Oh, right here. Yeah, Norm Rodriguez. I'm the play-by-play uh, -play guy. I, I'm going to be partners in crime with Jason throughout the summer. So be ready for some fun announcing and some funny wet. Norm, be ready for it all. <laughs> you're you're going to at some point. Um, there was an eight-run inning, right? Twelve-run eighth inning. Twelve. Twelve-run eighth inning. Twelve-run. It's worth listening to it on YouTube because you'll hear every cliche ever known to the English language came through that man right there, Norm Rodriguez, and it's, it's hilarious. And of course it ends on a positive note and we win. So uh, anybody that I missed, I'm sorry, uh, yeah. I was, I was here. I'm Roland, um, Christian Doles. 
I'm the assistant uh, operations manager here in the front office. Um, in terms of social media, uh, I do some tickets. About it. So, Christian, we are doing part of social media is what we're doing today. What you guys will be doing today when you read this, that's going to make your job a lot easier, right? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this is all how this all works together. Anybody else that I, I managed to miss? Yes, sir. Roy Lux, I'm the official scorekeeper and scoreboard operator, and I keep these guys alive. Ah, so, so when that grounder comes to you and you know you couldn't have got it to it, and you see, look up on the board and it says E. His name is Roy. <laughs> just, just say, just say. All right. With that in mind, I'm going to let the players come right over. Randy Anderson, right here, who's coordinating this luncheon today. He's the president of the Chautauqua Sports Hall of Fame. And uh, so, start. There's plates, napkins, dogs, condiments, chips, water, basic food. That's why George Carlo. We did not invite him to this. So that's why he's not here, Mr. Secrets of Champions. This is not on his menu. So he does that. Know about it. I hope you don't mention this is what you had for lunch. Assuming, assuming you had some kiwi or something like that. So over here, General, why don't we start with this table here? Yeah, superstars. So with that, Jordan Brazil. Yeah. Clear, clear. Yeah, there he is. Uh, Damas Shields, they here. Rafalski, you here? Okay. Um, so, thanks everybody for coming. Uh, can't wait to get this season uh, started. It's good to see all you guys again. I was telling Scott the other day when I was sitting in, sitting in the office, it's like you, you finish your season at Fredonia State or all of our seasons, and, and then here we are, bang, uh, top skunks, and then next thing you know, it, it's opening day, and, and, uh, it, and everybody's excited and can't wait to get going. Um, we have not quite a full roster here today of our guys. Um, this year we have a couple of pitchers from Mercyhurst um, that are coming back and forth. Um, so they'll, they'll, uh, so they aren't here today and then we're missing uh, just a couple of other guys. We still got about four guys that need to report the Youngstown State baseball team basically. A lot of them guys had uh, those guys had exit meetings today. So we don't have quite everybody here, uh, but we do have the majority. so I'll start calling up the guys um, one by one. Um, just uh, just to give you guys a little example of how we got started, it was a little bit a uh, little bit stinky. Um, we uh, we we went for our first, well, second, I guess, full team practice. Um, we were missing a couple guys for the first one, but for the second one, uh, we we wanted to go seven o'clock under the lights. And uh, this is how my Fredonia season went to it: uh, rain, rain, rain all spring. But let's hope that's not going to happen this summer. Anyways. Um, we're looking at the weather all day. It keeps getting pushed back, pushed back. Yes, good thing we got a 7 o'clock practice today. Um, so 10 o'clock, it's not coming till now. It's not coming to 11. Well, as soon as we step on the field, here comes a, a severe thunderstorm on the radar, and we had to throw the uh, tarp on. So we throw the tarp on. The boys are up at 6 a.m. Uh, we, all, we all get the tarp off, and, and uh, Julie actually made me think of this, so I'll, I'll use that little little line she said but uh, we have we have a big spot at shortstop right now it seems that uh, something bit through the tarp and uh, we think it could have been a skunk um, so that stunk a little bit for us as well um, so shortstop was a little little wet this morning um, but we will uh, we'll make sure to get that get that fixed and then on my way here about 10:25, I was going to get in the car and and uh, get going down here and, and uh, my carbon monoxide detector started beeping. Now thanks to uh, part of the pew crew, Dennis Finnerty, my home inspector, he said, hey, I don't see a, he didn't, he didn't see a carbon monoxide detector in the house when he inspected it. Um, so I, I found a carbon monoxide detector. Little did I know, um, it was 23 years old, so it had been sitting in that older house for a while. Uh, but anyways, the fire trucks came about 11 o'clock. Uh, good news is there was no carbon monoxide, just a little bit old detector, so I'm going to have to uh, get that updated. Uh, but thanks to the, uh, the pew crew, otherwise we might not have had one in there. So <laughs> appreciate that. Um, enough about that. Uh, let's get some of these guys up here. I'll just start calling guys one by one. We'll just start at the table um, and go around. Why don't we start with uh, Bryce Jackson? Hello everyone, my name is Bryce Jackson. 
I'm a right-handed pitcher. I'm right from Jamestown, New York, born and raised all 19 years. Um, I go to Jamestown Community College and I'm going there again next year. Uh, I'm majoring in sport management and I'm going to continue to do that after college. I'm a fan of the New York Yankees and I'm a big fan of Luis Severino and Derek Jeter. Uh, I didn't play any other sports growing up other than a little bit of football and basketball at the park with my friends. And when I'm not playing basketball, really I'm like, I really enjoy fishing and camping and getting outside. My favorite baseball memory is definitely playing in the Babe Ruth World Series right here in Jamestown when I was 13 and 15. Against some of the best talent in the country, it was just a really cool experience as a little kid seeing all those fans in the crowd. So yeah, I'm just really excited to get going this summer and make some new memories with all these guys. Next up, we'll go Yogi Hardigan from George Mason. Sorry, guys, Boo Boo's not here today. Um, so uh, I'm Yogi Hardigan. Um, from Winchester, Virginia. I go to George Mason. Uh, I'm an outfielder there. I'm a freshman. Uh, I'm also an IT major. That's you guys would not have thought that probably. Um, pro team probably the Yankees. Um, my my dad grew up in Staten Island, New York, so the Yanks are pretty uh, heavy in my house. So we love Jeter for sure. Um, I did play a little football in high school, um, but I mean I'm, I'm short. And, small so I, there's no way that would work out in college um, but my favorite baseball memory would have to be when I was 10 years old uh, we were in the Cal Ripken Southeast Regional Championship to go to the World Series we lost by one run in nine innings to West Raleigh North Carolina that, that, that kind of breaks the heart a little bit um, but I'm really just excited for to play for the, the tarp stalk just tarp skunk sorry um, uh, it's it's a pretty big community around here in Jamestown that I've seen, and there's a lot of history around here, and I'm just uh, ready to get after it. Right. Next up, say a, uh, a local guy. Um, hopefully, nobody from the school boards here. Are you playing hooky today? No, Tucker. No, <laughs> <laughs> um, Tucker Fenton, come on up. My name is uh, Tucker Fenton. I'm a right-handed pitcher. Finishing up my last year of uh, high school at Maple Grove this year. <laughs> uh, I'll be going to St. Bonaventure next year, studying health science, planning on becoming a physical therapist after college. High school, I played basketball a little bit, so just basketball and baseball. Um, when I'm not playing baseball, pretty much just like to play baseball, that's about it. <laughs> uh, favorite memory is probably Little league, like these guys lost in the championship just like him, which kind of sucks. But the game before that was probably my favorite game. Um, favorite thing about playing for the Tarps Comics is probably talking to everybody, learning where they're from, what colleges they go, go to, and stuff. Yeah, that's about it. Go Skunks. <laughs> Next is uh, Derek Benzinger. Um, Derek actually, an uncle. I played in the big leagues. Yeah, Todd, 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 Todd yeah. Benzinger. Um, come on up here. Hi, my name is Derek Benzinger. I'm a right-handed pitcher and outfielder for the Tarps Gunners this year. I'm from New Jersey, and I went to Burton Community College this past year. I'm looking to go somewhere else next fall. Not sure I have a few options, but we'll see what happens. My favorite pro team is the San Francisco Giants. Grew up watching Tim Lincecum win Cy Young around 2009. Um, I played a little bit of basketball and football growing up. I only play baseball now. My favorite baseball memory was uh, winning the state championship last year. We also won the county and the league and everything. We, uh, our high school team was ranked 16th in the nation. Um, when I'm not playing baseball, I like to hang out with my friends, play a little video games. And uh, what I like best about playing for the Jamestown Tarp Skunks that our mascot's a skunk. Never, never, never heard anything like it. Um, that's about it. Dan Maglio, Monmouth University. 
What's up, guys? Uh, my name is Dan Maglio. I play catcher, and I attend Monmouth University. My major is undecided right now, but I'm planning to go into business area. Um, my favorite professional baseball team would be the Yankees, but I'm a Mike, I'm a Mike Trout guy, so it's kind of tough. <laughs> but uh, I played a little bit of basketball in middle school, then I stopped playing, just focused on baseball. When I'm not playing baseball, I like to go to the beach, play video games, and play a little basketball. And my favorite baseball memory was winning a state championship with uh, Derek. Um, we were pretty good that year. Um, my favorite thing about playing with the Tarp Skunks would be just the fans and the community. It seems very supportive. I just can't wait. Eddie Gladys, North Georgia. My brother. Hello, my name is Eddie Gladys. I'm a right-handed pitcher. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, and I uh, play at University of North Georgia, which is in Dahlonega. My major is business, and uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do after college yet. Still thinking. Uh, my favorite baseball team is the Braves, and I'm a big fan of Acuna. I didn't play any other sports, but I do. I'll do pick up basketball with my friends sometimes. Um, <coughs> When I'm not playing baseball, I'm usually just playing video games. That's about it. Um, my favorite baseball memory, probably when I was 12, we went to we went to Cooperstown. So I think that was a good experience. And then, uh, what do I like best about playing for the Jamestown Tar Skunks? It's a very supportive supportive community, and uh, looking forward to getting to work with them. Uh, Pat DeMarco, previously Penn State, now undecided. Hey guys, my name is uh, Patrick DeMarco. I'm a right-handed pitcher from Los Angeles, California. Uh, I went to Penn State University last year. I'm currently in the transfer portal, looking for a new school next year. <clears throat> my major right now is recreation parks and tourist management, and I'm not sure what I want to do after college yet. My favorite baseball team is Los Angeles Dodgers, and my favorite baseball player is Zach Greinke. Always been my favorite. Never really played any other sports growing up. What I do when I not play baseball? It's uh, a good question. I really only play baseball. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite baseball memory uh, would definitely be this past year. We had a three-game series at a University of Virginia, seeing five, six thousand fans in the stands. It was pretty cool. I didn't get in, but that's pretty cool to see. <laughs> um, what I'm most excited about playing for the Tarp Skunks, just the community and the fans here. It seems like a great family vibe, and I'm ready to get excited. Ready to get started. Excited. So. <laughs> Jordan King, Delaware State. Oh, <laughs> um, what's going on, everybody? Um, my name is Jordan King. Um, I'm an outfielder that goes to Delaware State University. Um, I'm from York, Pennsylvania. Um, I'm currently majoring in sports medicine, kinesiology. Um, hopes to become like a physical therapist, chiropractor whenever it's all said and done. Um, my favorite baseball team, I'm a Baltimore Orioles fan, sadly, but um, <laughs> I, grew up watch, um, I grew up watching them play. Um, Adam Jones was my favorite baseball player when I was younger. Um, when I was younger, I used to play a lot of soccer and I played basketball a little bit too. When I'm not playing baseball, I'm a hooper. I mean, I'll go out and play basketball at park and play video games. Um, my favorite baseball memory um, would probably have to be when I was at the Area Code tryouts um, in East Coast Pro. That was a really cool event. And then what I like playing the best about Jamestown, um, I mean, I just got here, but it seems like everybody really enjoys the baseball team. You got a lot of support, and the guys are really cool, so I'm ready to get started. Jack Davis, North Georgia. How y'all doing? All right. Uh, my name is Jack Davis. 
Uh, I'm a utility player, pretty much play everywhere besides middle of the field, can't play center, most likely, probably not second, not short. <laughs> um, I am from Lowburn, Georgia, little town, Gwinnett, Georgia, uh, play for the University of North Georgia. Uh, I'm a business major, I have no idea what I'm doing after college, might be a park ranger, might end up doing garbage disposal, who knows. <laughs> um, favorite baseball team would be the New York Yankees, uh, big Jeter guy. I like A-Rod, a lot of people hate him, but that's how it is. Um, it's pretty bad at every other sport. I gave it a shot. <laughs> gave it a shot when I was young, but baseball kind of was the best at, and here I am. So, um, well, I'm not playing baseball, just hanging out with the guys. There's not much other than baseball, pretty much. Favorite baseball memory would probably be going back-to-back -back state champions in high school and playing for the Tarp Skunks. I'm excited. It seems like a great community. And y'all really love baseball. Let's get stinky. <laughs> Mark Tucker, North Georgia. Returner. What's up, everybody? Uh, as you know, my name is Mark Tucker, and I'm an infielder. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, and I also go, like Eddie and Jack, to North Georgia. I'm currently a business marketing major, so after college I plan to market a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Philadelphia Phillies fan, so it's been pretty rough past few years, but I'm a big fan of Chase Sadley and uh, Jimmy Rollins. Um, in high school, like Yogi, I played football my freshman year, but I'm no uh, Marshawn Lynch, so I quit. Um, <laughs> when I'm not playing baseball, I like I don't know, fishing, hanging out with friends, playing video games, basic stuff. Uh, favorite baseball memory? I don't know, probably uh, last year, I bet you guys know, when uh, JB ate it on the way home to walk <laughs> off the game. Yeah. And uh, that's about it. Uh, best thing about playing for Jamestown, of course, the fans. Pretty self explanatory. So, uh, can't wait to get to work and win some games. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny Campus, returner. Was at Wagner last year, now at Goldie Beacon. 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 Uh, as George just said, my name is Johnny Campus. I went to Wagner College with these three guys right here in the center. Um, transferred to Goldie Beacon last year, played there my first year. Uh, first year was last year. I'm a sports management major. Not sure what I want to do with that yet after college, still figuring it out. Uh, my favorite team is Orioles, much like Jordan. Kind of sucks, but is what it is. Favorite player is probably Pudge Rodriguez, uh, one of the best catchers, if not the best catcher of all time. Did I play other sports? Yeah, I played football and basketball a little bit. Wasn't really any good, so I'm still playing baseball. Um, when not playing baseball, chilling with the boys, or uh, playing video games most likely. Uh, favorite baseball memory was just last year, everything about last year. Um, just unforgettable experience and hoping to make another one this year. Uh, what I like most about playing for the Tarp Skunks, obviously the fans, like everyone else said, because it's just great vibe in the stadium. But uh, honestly, the guys, <clears throat> they don't know it yet, but we're going to get really close. You're going to walk out of here with your best friends because we live right next to each other for two months straight, and you're kind of forced to get to know everybody. So, and uh, I love this team. Yeah! <laughs> Will Durrell, previously Gardner Webb, now undecided. Alright, my name is Will. Uh, I'm an outfielder. Uh, I'm from South Carolina. Uh, I'm undecided right now. Uh, I'm going to major in sport management. Uh, I suck at reading. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my favorite baseball team is the Atlanta Braves. And you know, I like every player in the MLB. They're all good. Uh, in high school, I played all three sports uh, baseball, football, and basketball. So I'm just an animal. All of them. <laughs> uh, whenever I'm not playing baseball, uh, I'm on the sticks. <laughs> uh, favorite baseball memory is I hit a walk off on senior night. Uh, 
Uh, you know, I don't know about Jamestown. I just got here. <laughs> Eric Krauss, Wagner. Um, so my name is Eric Krauss. I'm a right-handed pitcher for Wagner College, originally from Southern California. Um, I'm majoring in mathematics. I don't really know what I'm going to do with that. Math. Um, <laughs> my favorite baseball team is the Dodgers from LA. So I was a huge fan of like Joe Kelly. I miss him. Cool personality. Um, I never really played any other sports, just baseball. When I'm not playing baseball, I like to go to the beach a lot back home. Here, I, I don't know, just a lot of baseball. Um, favorite memory was probably winning our league in high school. Like, we won the league championships in high school. Um, so I'm hoping to do that again this year. And the uh, best thing about playing for the Tarps going is probably the fans. The difference is my, when I recruit for Fredonia State, my first question is, how are his academics? Um, I don't necessarily do that with the Tarps Nunks, as you can see. <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys, just messing with you. I'm not the brightest either, so. <laughs> uh, next up, Brandon Lane, Seton Hill. What's up guys, I'm Brennan Lane, uh, I'm an outfielder and I play at Seton Hill University. Um, my major is exercise science and it's a hard major so I don't know if I'm going to keep doing that. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do after college so I'm just kind of lost. Um, my favorite professional baseball team is sadly the Pirates because I'm from Pittsburgh. Raise the Jolly Rogers! Yeah. They love the Dodgers! They did, yeah, I'm happy about that. But my, I'm, uh, my favorite baseball player is Andrew McCutcheon. He's a Pittsburgh guy. Um, I played basketball my freshman year of high school. I just focused on baseball after that. Uh, I, I ran track in middle school. Um, I like to hang with the boys when I'm not playing baseball. Self-explanatory. Uh, my favorite baseball memory, I played in the Triple ABA Johnstown League last year, um, and I played on opening night in front of six, seven thousand fans, which was pretty cool. And uh, I just got here a couple days ago, and I, I'm from Pittsburgh. I'm a few hours away, and I'm from Seton Hill, so uh, I'm only live about a half hour away from Seton Hill. So I'm excited to get away from home for a few months. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Travis Perry, Youngstown State. I just shook his hand for the first time and just arrived in Jamestown. How's it going? I'm Travis. Um, I'm a right-handed pitcher from Youngstown State. Um, I'm from Old City, Pennsylvania, which is about like an hour and 20 minutes away or so. Um, I'm a geography major. I've bounced around a couple of different times and kind of settled in there. Um, i got one more year left, got a couple classes in the fall, finish up, then I'm done. Um, my, I would say my favorite professional team would be the Angels right now because my cousin got called up last year for the Angels. Um, he kind of bounced around between uh, major leagues and AAA, he just got called up again, so he's playing against New York tonight. Um, my, uh, uh, Andrew Wance, he went to uh, UNCG, North Carolina Greensboro. My favorite baseball player would probably be Mike Trout. I just love the way he plays the game, plays hard. Um, I played basketball in high school as well. Um, I played golf for a year. I wasn't allowed to play football. My dad wouldn't let me. <laughs> um, so I played golf instead, so I kind of evened out. He didn't like that either, but. <laughs> um, when I'm not playing baseball, in the summertime, I'm usually fishing, hanging out with my friends. In the wintertime, I'm always in the woods. I'm hunting. Got on a duck hunt last year a lot, and um, I really love that. And then, obviously, the deer hunt and everything like that. And then, a couple years ago, I came up to Chautauqua with my buddies. He's got a big bass boat and everything. And we caught about 200 fish one day, and I loved it. I always wanted to come back, and now I finally am. <laughs> Uh, my favorite baseball memory would probably be pitching last week so far would be pitching a playoff game. It's my first appearance in four years in a playoff game. This because I'm supposed to start 
every game after that, we always end up losing. <laughs> um, never played for the Tarps Cups before, but um, I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm excited to meet every one of you guys and enjoy the experience and get to know some great baseball players. Thank you. Tonight's starting pitcher, Ian Korn, Seton Hill. Uh, my name is Ian Korn. I'm a right-handed pitcher. I'm from York, Pennsylvania, and uh, I go to Seton Hill University. Uh, I study sports management. Don't really know what I want to do after college. Hopefully baseball. Um, I like the Phillies a lot. Uh, I like Mike Trout, hard player. Uh, I used to play soccer up until high school, and then uh, a little bit of basketball when I was like a little kid. Um, when I'm not playing baseball, MLB the show, always baseball, but... A little, little different there. Uh, favorite baseball memory? If you know Benny Montgomery, he got drafted by the Rockies in the first round last year. I got to play against him in high school. Unfortunately, I didn't pitch, but he had a screamer at me at third base and, you know, still made the play, but it was about 110 miles an hour off the bat. <laughs> Not, don't want to do that again. Um, <laughs> but what do I like best about playing for the Tarps Conks? Definitely the fans. Never played in front of this many people, and uh, especially opening night tonight, pitching, it'll be really an awesome experience. Um, but it was already said, but let's get stinky. Cody Bay, Wagner. Uh, my name is Cody Bay. I'm from Long Beach, California. I'm an infielder. Uh, I go to Wagner College, uh, ma major in business management, uh, it's kind of boring, I uh, <laughs> don't know really what I'm going to do after college. Uh, my favorite team is the Angels, uh, favorite players are Tim Anderson and Otani, just all around fun players to watch. Um, I used to play football when I was younger, but I blew out my knee, so I stopped that. And looking forward to playing for the fans and playing for Jamestown this year. Thank you. I don't. I think I have this right now, Eli. So were you the hero of the game when JB came around to score last year? Yeah. Okay. So Eli pitched for Geneva last year, and he said, "I think what he said this year was, uh, uh, screw this. I'm coming to Jamestown.'" <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Eli Shep from Wagner. Uh, my name's Eli Shedd. I'm a left-handed pitcher from Wagner College. I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, I plan on majoring in finance with a minor in computer science. And uh, my favorite baseball team is obviously the Pirates. Kind of sucks, but good sweep this week. Uh, Favorite baseball player is probably Francisco Liriano, because he kind of led us to the playoffs. I think he's a lefty pitcher. Uh, when I'm not playing baseball, I like to golf, just chill out, play video games. Uh, I played uh, football, basketball, baseball growing up. And my favorite baseball memory is probably last year, even though we lost. It's a pretty cool environment to play in, and I'm excited to play for Jamestown this year. And have those fans cheering for me and not against me. <laughs> Henry Martinez Wagner. Hi everyone, I'm Henry Martinez. Um, I'm from Chino Hills, California. I also go to Wagner with three other guys on this team and Johnny for two years. Um, I'm majoring in business marketing. Uh, my favorite team is the Dodgers and my favorite player is Cody Bellinger. I wish we had a 2019 belly still but it is what it is. Um, I played football for a little in high school, not really basketball because 
I uh, went to school with all three of the Ball brothers. So, uh, um, <laughs> what do what do I do when I'm not playing baseball? I play video games, and I like to go to the lake. Uh, my favorite memory was actually this past year. We went to California to play USC, and I hit my first collegiate home run in front of like 30 family members. Um, and I'm excited to get going this year. Go Skunks! Richard King, Florida State, Jacksonville College. Uh, hi everyone, my name is Richard King. I'm a right-handed pitcher. I'm from Miami, Florida, and I go to school in Jacksonville. Um, I'm currently studying business finance, and I plan to do something with real estate after it. Um, my favorite professional team is the Dodgers, and my favorite player is Clayton Kershaw. Um, I tried out for basketball my freshman year, but got cut because I was half the size I am now. Um, <laughs> what do I like to do when I'm not playing baseball? Um, I like to go in the pool, do a couple laps, uh, fishing, playing with my brothers, uh, playing video games with my family. Um, my favorite baseball memory probably have to be Cooperstown, um, being with all my childhood friends growing up and just having that barrack together was quite an experience. Um, my favorite thing about playing for the Jamestown Tarpskins would probably have to be just the hospitality that I had when I came first, when I, when I first came here. Um, it was truly, uh, I felt at home when I came here, and I usually don't say that a lot. But so I want to say thank you to the fans for making me feel like I'm at home, and go Skunks. We get Coach Powell up here. Good. Coach Powell, come on up. Coach, Coach Powell is also a, a returner to the Skunks, probably a familiar face. He's now uh, he's scouting with the Philadelphia Phillies as well, and uh, was my pitching coach at Patrick Henry Community College about four or five years from now. I, I, I shouldn't be asking you, huh? Oh! Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, the first time. Uh, I bet Jordan it was probably four or five years ago, but as you get older, the time flies. But um, good afternoon. My name is Barry Powell. I'm from Virginia. Uh, that's the name I use in Virginia. When I'm up here, I have another name. And I thank Scotty for this one here. Scotty calls me Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> so we, look, we get on the bus, it's uh, wait for Grandpa, wait for Grandpa. But uh, seriously, uh, last year was an awesome year. Uh, I really appreciate the opportunity to be here. Uh, once I left here last year, uh, as Jordan said, I, uh, I worked with the Phillies, I'm a scout, so I was on the road for till Christmas, and then we started up, and I think last week at this time was at, I was at the ACC tournament. So I go home, and uh, I go by the house, and my wife, it's her last day, she's a school teacher, and uh, she said, I'm out of school, and I said, well, I'll be here tomorrow, and then I'm gone. So uh, it's like two trains passing in the night, you know? and I don't know if that's good or bad. But uh, on the other end of that is uh, hopefully we're going to be here and be in the tournament. When I get back, she'll go back to school. So, <laughs> but anyway, um, seriously, um, you know, as you get older, you, you look at the game from a different perspective. And uh, last year, uh, I've told some of you guys, last year I would see if I didn't know anyone. But now I know your face. I'm trying to put a name in the face. And uh, these guys are very fortunate to be here. It's so much that goes into this, and I'm sure they understand some of it. But being older, I understand that there's so many of you guys out here to put a lot of time and effort into it. So, I, you know, I'm very grateful for that. I'm very grateful to have the opportunity to come back here to be with these guys. Maybe you, you've just heard each one of them speak. Now, I get to be around these guys every day. So from my mindset, in the late 60s, and they're down in the 20s. You can see when I leave here, I, my mind will be all messed up. I'll, I'll hear all, I see things and they do things that I have no clue what they're doing. And, uh, and I'm like, what's that you're putting in your ears? You know, because we were little, they told us don't put things in your ears. You know, so it, it, half of what I learned, what I did learn when I was little, they tell me to forget it. But seriously, uh, working with uh, Jordan here is a pleasure. Uh, there's so many people that involved here. Mr. Dietrich, we appreciate what you do. I don't know some of you, but uh, I appreciate you know, the opportunity to be here with these guys. Uh, I tell the pitchers that I work mainly with pitchers, but uh, we're going to develop a relationship with these guys. 
It'll be a memory for a lifetime. And that, that means a lot. You know, some days I learn for them and they learn for me. And I tell, I tell them all the time, uh, I work for them. I said, give me a chance. We go over things. Don't fire me yet. Johnny's heard that. Johnny's been here. Uh, hey, let's try it on. Let's see if it works. Um, you know, like I said, it's, I'm very fortunate to have job scouting and looking at players. So from years ago when my hair was dark, I played in field short pitched. Then I started coaching. You see the game at first base. You see the game at third base. And now I'm seeing, I don't know if this is good or bad, but I'm seeing the game from the stands. Most of the time scouting. So I don't know if that means you're getting older. And, and no, it's just uh, what you have to do. But thank you so much for having me back. And I certainly appreciate the opportunity. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for your participation, uh, players. And we look forward to a really exciting year. And trust me, uh, there'll be energy right behind third base dugout. Right back there are the four ringleaders. They'll be in the middle of the uh, pew crew. You know, they, they're, they're not shy. Uh, I think the only way to ever wrap up anything that deals with Jamestown baseball here is to call up uh, Mr. Baseball himself, Russ Dietrich. And Russ, if you could just kind of Put this all into perspective as uh, you have, and um, this guy is the real deal. We don't have baseball in Jamestown without <laughs> Russell E. Dietrich Jr., and we obviously has been uh, recognized by the naming of the park after him. So, gentlemen, I hope at some point you get a chance to shake his hand uh, because he is the real deal. Russ? <laughs> Yes, I'm going to lead up to the what's on everybody's mind and everybody's praying. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a great time to get together. It's been great to be part of it. As a, they overwhelm me by giving me all the credits for what happens in this community baseball-wise. Not true. As you find out with the organization that has been put together, that Greg Peterson and others put together and people step forward and they took that little thing out of their back pocket and they made it possible to put this program together. What a team that is. And then when you talk about the board of directors uh, of the Jamestown Community Baseball, it's people who have stepped together and put the hours in to organize and to operate that thing and to make it work. And uh, I'm a member of that team and it's an honor to be part of it. I've been blessed to be in this community the most part of my life and uh, got involved in the recreation program in the city and the community and uh, was just a member of the team and a member of this community. I'm very, very proud of that. The baseball that we have had for the year since 1939 on, many of the professional people went from Jamestown and went from our league to the major leagues, well over several hundred of them played on the dirt you're going to be playing on tonight, and they went to the major leagues. And the Hall of Fame in Cooperstown has hanging on the wall, not the individual the pictures and plaques of Nellie Fox, who played center field down here, and uh, went to be on to be a second baseman for the White Sox and went to the Hall of Fame. Randy Johnson, he didn't throw the ball right, he threw the ball left. And uh, he also made it to the Hall of Fame. And uh, so we're very proud of that. And there are many, many, many more that come into Jamestown in that league as a visiting team and that are so important to what we see down there. So baseball has been so important to the community. And we're very, very proud, and I'm very proud to be a member of that team. And I'm walking out of here very confident because I see and I have a feeling as uh, so we're sitting in this room today and what I've been following on the, uh, the media through the Post Journal and the WGTN and the RFF program that we'll be hearing, uh, just what it means to be a part of this program and what happened last year. And I have every confidence that the results, because they are a team affair. Uh, everyone come up there and talk about themselves, but everybody talk and give credit to the team. So the team that is uh, being a skunk, it doesn't stink. Boy, it has a great smell to it. And they're all part of that team, and we're going to be able to get to see them down at the stadium. But with all of that in mind, 
there's one more team has to be put together, and we're lucky that it is together, and that is the fan base and the supporters of baseball in this community and this area. So for them, all of them, we say thank you. And I say thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, for being me a member of those teams. Good luck tonight, good luck all year, and good luck in the future. Because that someday I'm going to go good, uh, pick up something from Cooperstown, and there's going to be one or two or three of you in Cooperstown as a member of Cooperstown. I'm sure it's going to happen. God bless. Thank you.